if you want to make improvements in your time management, and I think all of us can probably afford to make some improvements in that arena, one of the most helpful practices is what I call time logging. Some people call this time tracking or keeping a time journal. Now, this is something that I do for a couple of days every single year, and I'm about to start doing it. Uh, today, when you see this post, is when I'm going to start doing it for the next five days. And what time logging is, is basically keeping track of how you are spending your entire day in maybe one hour increments or even half hour or 15 minute increments if you can. It's kind of like uh, when people are trying to be better about their, their eating, one of the best practices is keeping a food journal, right? Writing down everything that you're eating and even just the practice of becoming aware and writing down what you're eating will automatically make you uh, more mindful about the choices that you're going to make what, for what to put in your body. The same thing when it comes to time logging. Just the act of keeping, noting down what you're using your time on will automatically make you more uh, efficient or more mindful at the least of how you're spending the rest of your day and the rest of your week. So I encourage you to just pick one day, maybe today, or ideally a couple of days in a row where you are literally just writing down, you're keeping some, some uh, notebook, notepad on you, a post-it pad on you, or using your phone. Um, I'm gonna, in the notes of the video, I'll put which apps you might wanna consider using. Um, I use a particular mobile app to track my time. So just do it for a couple of days if you can and watch how you just naturally become more mindful about using your time going forward. Now, what should you use your time for? In the notes of the video, I will put a link to one of my blog posts about true productivity and a list of what I believe, at least for those of you who are building your business, the most productive things to do and things that you might wanna watch out for and not do in your business. Basically, if you are needing to get more clients in your business right now, then a large portion of how you spend your day working, your, your, your working day, a large portion of it, ought to be spent in doing client acquisition, client generating activities. If you have enough clients right now, or almost have enough clients, then uh, whatever additional free time you have to work on your business, I recommend to be spent in doing content like, like I do. Um, because then that'll build interest for future clients down the road. So if you want to uh, join me in doing time logging, uh, let me know in the video, in the, in the comments below this video. I'd love to know. And if you have done time logging in the past, uh, you can comment and share with us how it went for you or, or what, um, what benefit you got from it. But basically, I'm going to start doing it starting today. And I hope you'll join me and watch how it, you become more mindful automatically with your time management and become a better time management in your work and in your life.